On the gas gauge, there's a little arrow that points to the side where the hole for the gas tank is. On this car, it's on the right side. On this one, it's on the left. And on this one, it's on the left too. This tip can be useful if you rent or borrow a car, or if you often use different cars. If, when exiting a back street or a narrow street, you have to cross a sidewalk and you don't see to the sides because of the building walls, look for reflections in the doors of the parked cars, if there are any, to see if there's somebody coming on the sidewalk. To what side do I have to turn the steering wheel when backing up? People tend to believe that, for example, if we want to back up to the right, we have to turn the wheel to the left, meaning we have to invert the way we turn the wheel since we're backing up. It's very simple. You always turn the steering wheel to the side where you want to go, no matter if you're backing up or moving forward. If I turn the wheel to the left, I move forward to the left, and if I back up, I back up to the left too. If I turn the wheel to the right and move forward, I go to the right, and if I back up, I go to the right too. Example, if I want to parallel park on the right side of the street, I turn the wheel to the right, then I back up. Another tip related to the steering wheel, especially when doing 90 degrees parking is, how to know if the wheels are straight. For the wheels to be straight, the steering wheel also has to be straight. But there are three positions where the steering wheel can be straight. Wheel straight, one turn to the left, and one turn to the right. So, to know if the wheels are straight, we straighten the steering wheel no matter what its actual position is, and we move forward a bit. If we go straight, it means the wheels are straight. If we go to the left, we turn the steering wheel one turn to the right and the wheels are straight. And if we go to the right, we turn the wheel one turn to the left and the wheels are straight. Talking about 90 degree parking, here's a very common mistake. When you're exiting a parking by backing up between two cars, don't turn the steering wheel right away. If you do, you'll hit one of the cars depending on what side you turn your steering wheel. Always back up as much as you can before turning the steering wheel, ideally until you got out of the parking spot completely. The closer the cars on the sides, the more you have to back up before turning the wheel. If you're driving on a street where there are no parked cars on one side and no visible lines on the asphalt, and you don't know if it's a one or two way street, Look at the panels on the other side of the street. If you see the back of them, like in this case, it means you're on a two-way street. If you see the front of them, you're on a one-way street. Here we're approaching an intersection where the stop sign on our side is completely hidden by a bush and we only see it at the last second, which is very dangerous, especially if the cars coming on the other axe don't have a stop sign. In this case, look at the other side of the intersection. If we see the back of a stop sign, it means that we also have a stop on our side. Same thing here with the truck blocking the stop on the right side. When going from a stop position on a very steep hill, when you let go of the brakes, the car will have a tendency to back up. If you have a car with an automatic transmission, hold the brake with your left foot and accelerate while letting go of the brake. If you have a manual transmission car, hold the handbrake and lower it while letting go of the clutch and accelerating a bit. When you try to start the engine and the ignition key won't turn because it's blocked, it's because the steering wheel is also blocked. In that case, move the steering wheel to the left and right with your left hand while turning the key at the same time. Most of the time, the steering wheel is blocked because we tend to lean on it while exiting the car. If a vehicle is following you closely with its eye beams on, you'll be blinded. By pulling the small lever underneath your central rear view mirror, you'll still see what's going on but won't be blinded anymore. I hope you liked this video. Thanks for watching.